Hi, I'm Kristen, one of your hosts at Barrel to Bottle, the Benny's podcast. Thanks so much for tuning in to our sparkling wine for the holidays cast. I hope that you enjoyed it. And as promised, here I am to show you how to properly open a bottle of sparkling wine. First things first, make sure that your sparkling wine is properly chilled. I do this by sticking it in the refrigerator the morning when I leave for work, so when I come home at night, it's nice and cold, or in the freezer for about 30 minutes, should bring the temperature down. You want to decrease the pressure in the bottle by chilling it to increase your safety and increase your fun. So first things first, we want to remove the foil. Now notice after I remove the foil that I'm not going to remove the cage. We want to keep the cage on. Uh, it will increase your grip or will give you better grip and will make it safer to open. So all cages turn six half turns. So it's kind of a little fun party fact you can share with your friends over the holidays. No matter what you're buying, expensive champagne or inexpensive cava, six half turns is all you need. Now, once you have that cage undone, you know, this thing can kind of become a weapon. You can shoot the ceiling, you can shoot your neighbor with it. So you want to be sure to always have your hand on the cork once you loosen the cage. So notice that I'm consistently gripping the cork to make sure it doesn't fly out. Now, the bottle's at a 45 degree angle. This is important because this forces the pressure to come up this way instead of out of the top so you don't lose any wine or lose any CO2. Now, I turn the bottle, not the cork. We don't like to work too hard, so keep it easy on yourself. And as you begin to turn the bottle, you're going to feel that the cork will begin to release and just keep going back and forth either one direction or both, whatever you're more comfortable with. And as the cork begins to come out, you're going to press against it. One thing that people kind of don't realize is you don't want a big pop. You want a small little hiss. So the least amount of noise as possible is desired here. And if your wine is properly chilled down, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So as it's coming out, you just keep pulling, pulling. You try to make a little hiss. Nothing coming out, everything staying in, and bubbles staying in your glass. One little bit of information I will give you is when you're pouring your glass of fizz, kind of treat it like a beer. When you pour it straight up, you get all of the froth and the bubbles and the foam and not a whole lot of wine. So go ahead and let's preserve the CO2 by pouring it like a beer. Much easier, much better, and enjoy. So from the Barrel to Bottle team, have a happy and safe holidays, and enjoy your fizz.